binary. Yeah, we talk about binary. In computer, we use the binary. Binary zero and one. Computer is uh, powered by electricity. So we power on, we power off. There are two states. The electricity, the high voltage, low voltage. There are two states. So it's zero one. Yeah, zero ah. one. Bless you. So, <laughs> so the numbers in binary only have uh, two digits, zero and one. We talk about the binary, okay? Let's look at the first few numbers. The 0, 1, 2, 3. This is the decimal, the numbers we're using today, right? Decimal. So can you tell me what the corresponding binary? This is decimal. This is binary. i give you a few examples, okay? 0, 1, what's 2? 1, 0. And then what's next? 1, 1. 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 1. One one one. Um. One zero zero zero. One zero zero one. Um. One zero one zero. One zero one zero. Always at the one at the end. One zero one one. One one zero zero. One one zero one. One 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 one. Okay. So look at this. Start from this one. Okay. This is 2 to the power of 0, this is 2 to the power of 1, this is 2 to the power of 2, this is 2 to the power of 3, uh, and then we have one more. 16 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay? 2 to the power of 4. Okay, so can you tell me the common things about this uh, uh, power of 2? Look, 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 1 is uh, 1, 0, 2 to the power of 2 is 1, 0, 0, 2 to the power of 3 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 2 to the power of 4 is 1, 0, 0, 0. So, what have you learned from this? Um, well, uh, in the power of 2 is the amount of zeros we have. So, it's 1, 1 followed by, you know, the number of powers, zeros after it, am I right? Yeah. Okay. So this is binary. Okay. We already talked about how to convert between binary and decimal uh, in the past. Okay. Okay. So today's question, uh, this binary, is related to this binary. So the first few integers: one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's look at these numbers, integers. So one is one. Two is one zero. Three is one one. Right. Look. And first of all. We convert the integer to binaries and then we put it together. Yeah, we, we put this together in binary form. So that these, we want to get the value of these. So what's this in binary? 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. How do we convert a binary to a decimal? Mm, well, we count it. That's right, yes, we count it, yes. How do we count it? Look, this one, yeah, the, the, this is 1, this is 2, each one is doubles, 4. 8, 16, yeah? So this number is what? 1, 16 plus 8 plus... We skip 4, right? Because this is 0. 1, 2 plus 1. So this is 27. Alright? So, any idea? I mean, we're given an integer n. For example, if you get n equals 4, then we need to get this. 4 is 1, 0, 0. So we put this binary together. So we want to get the value of this in decimal. Mm, yeah. So what's your thoughts? I, I mean, you don't have to dig into details. Just tell me how would you solve this problem. Brute force. Brute force is a good idea. Yeah. So look, we know how to how to convert this uh, from numbers to binary, right? And then we put it together, and then we convert it back. Am I right? Yeah. Let's switch that. Okay. So we can do this first. First of all, we need to get the binaries for the numbers. And how do we get the binaries in the numbers? We talk about uh, the algorithm, right? But in Python, we have this bin function, remember? Uh, bin 3, 0, B, 1, 1, okay? Look, bin 15 give us 0, B, 1, 1, 1, 1. So you always prefix with 0, B, which is binary, okay? So if this number is n, array, first of all, array equals bin i and we want to remove the prefix we start with the third character onwards so it's two to the end for i in range 
1 to n plus 1, right? So it's 1 to n inclusive. And then we have this ARR, which is ARR now equals 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, etc., right? So we want to put these numbers together from an array. What function can we use to put um, all the things together using it? Sorry? Join. Join. Okay, join by empty space. Join. Yes, we're done. Join ARR. So once we join it, then we want to convert it back to integer, right? Yeah. So this function, look, so we just do this int. And then the second parameter, base2, which is binary. And that's it. Right? So you can even do it in one line. So return int this, this ARR. ARR thing is here, right? Yeah. Into. Yeah. The time complexity. There are end loop here. And for each one, we need to convert it to binary, right? They log n to this. So it's the time complexity is O n times log n. Any question on this one? Um... Okay. Look at this three number. So let's look at it one. So what happens if we move to the next integer? It's two, right? It's one zero, right? So we put a one zero. What happened to this one? It moves two space to the left, right? When you move the one space to the left, what happened? When you put a zero at the end, what happened? If you put a one at the end, it... You put a zero at the end, what happened? It... Um... This is one. You put a zero, what's this? Two. You put another zero, what happened? And four. You put another zero, what happened? Eight. Okay, so look, this is one. Okay, we are one here. Multiplied by two. Yeah, one. Okay, I'm telling you, this is the string has two lengths, so I need to move two space to the left. So I move two space to the left, so what happened to this one? Two to the power of two, right? Look, another one. So this is one, one, zero, right? So, okay, another one. Let's look at this one, one. So what happened? I put a one, one here. What happened? So this number move two space to the left, right? Yeah. So every time you move the one space to the left, it doubles. Move two space, two to the power of two. We can just scan these numbers, and then we get the length. If we know the length, we know how much we need to multiply, how many space we need to move the current integer to the left. For, okay, this is answer, right? Answer at the beginning equals zero. For i in range one to n plus one, right? So now look at i, we want to convert i to Binary, right? So the binary B equals bin I. We talk about this, right? Bin I. Why are we converting the, the numbers to binary? So... Look at here, one. This two, two converted binary is one zero. So then we know one needs to move two space to the left. So you know what the numbers to put? Yeah, the numbers to put here, we can just simply add the numbers i here. But the most important thing is this one needs to move two space to the left. So why do we need to convert the numbers to binary? Because we want to find out how many, what's that? Um, spaces. What spaces? The length, right? Because we want to find out the length. Mm -hmm. Look, 4 is 1, zero, zero. We convert it to pin. This is the length. Now we need to do this length. Get the length, we need to subtract 2. Why do we need to subtract 2? This pin 4 tells us 0, B, 1, 0, 0. So why do we need to subtract 2? The length of pin this is the size of this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But we need to subtract 2 because what's this? We don't need this, right? The binary is in this one, right? Yeah, we just need the length of this, right? So subtract 2, and then we have this B, what happened? Answer, need to move the space, shift, shift, B position to the left. And then answer plus equal I, am I right? So look, 1, moved, 1, move 2 space to the left, put 2 zeros at the end. B equals 2, right? Move 2 space to the left, and then plus I. I is here, 1, 0, plus I here, right? So it's 1, 1, 0 here. Got it? And then return answer. The time complexity is still O n log n because look at this pin function. This pin function is taking time. We just want to get the length of the binary, right? Do we need to check for each 
number. Look, the length of this. Look what happened. Uh, let me write it this way. Look at this. Just, just look at this. Think about it. I'm going to write the binary here, right? Okay? Zero, one, one zero, one one, one zero zero, one zero one, one one zero, one one one, one zero zero zero. Okay, enough. Look at this pattern. Yeah, look at this pattern. This is binary. I'm going to convert it to a string and then get the length. The length one one two two three 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 four. Okay. So do you see the pattern? When does the size increase by one? One 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 one. What's next? One zero 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 zero. Now this is size is four. This size is five. So in what case is the the integer the length increment by one? When when is one one one? When is what? When it's one. When, when is all one? When is all one? It's not increasing. Look one one uh, one zero. It's not increasing. It's still four. But when this? So what happened? It turns to one zero zero. Okay. So one to two. Yeah, two to three, three to four, four to five. This is number i. When i is what, then we can increment the length. When i is is one and ends with zero. So what's end with zero? So what's this? What's this number? It's it's in binary one followed by lots of zeros. What's this number? It's two four. A. Power of two. Power of two, exactly. Okay. In binary, because look, in binary, we just talk about binary one followed by lots of zeros. How many zeros? N zero here, right? So what's this number? Two to the power of n, right? Mm. This is power of two. We don't need this. Then in this case, we don't need this, right? So what do we need to do? We keep the current length. Current length equals zero, and we don't need this, right? This is current length. Uh, let's just, let's just put a b equals zero, okay? Okay, then we just do this. If i is power of two, right? i is power of two. i is power of two, okay? We are coming back to this, power of two. Then we increment the length b plus equal one. All right? So how do we check if number, if we integer is power of two? The last question. How do we check if we integer is power of two? How do we know 32 is power of two? How do we know 64 is power of two? You divide it until... And then it will eventually become zero. Sorry, how to how do we how do we check if the number is power of two? There are quite a few ways. Last time you talk about you know multiply two every time, right? Yeah. All right, or, or divided by two. That's one way. Is it that for said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock and solution. But what I'm saying that look look at the binary. Yeah, you just told me that it's one by followed by lots of zero, right? Look at this. Look. At, 1 followed by lots of zeros. If we subtract 1 to this, what happened? 1 followed by lots of zeros. If we subtract 1, what happened? Subtract 1 to this, what happened? One of the digits is gone and the rest is 1. Well done! Okay, then how about if I do this n, you know, logic n? Both things are true, then it's true. So if we do the n, what happened? What's the number here? Uh. True, n. A and B. A needs to be 1, B needs to be 1. Otherwise, it's all false. So 0 and 1 is false. So that will become 0, right? If I and I minus 1 is equal to 0, of course, I needs to be bigger than 0, right? right? Because I is bigger than 0, so we can ignore this. So we can just say if I and I minus 1 equal equal 0, it's a power of 2, then B plus equal 1. And then that's it. And because this n is O1 constant. So the time complexity is O n. It's better than previous one. Look, there's n loop. We need to iterate the numbers from 1 to n. And inside is O1 constant. Previously, the pin function takes log n. So O n log n. Now we're improving this pin n to O1, right? Alright? There are quite a few other ways, like you said, multiply it by 2 until we get this number or bigger than it or we divide it by two until we can't divide it or we get one right or we can do this get the log function math.log i2 base 2 and we check if this is a whole integer dot is integer or we do this x equals we first get the integer part of the log i2 we get the log function yeah and then we check if 2 to the power of x equal equal i log function log a 
B. What's this? Equal C. We talk about log, yeah? Log N. What's log N? What's log function? Um, wait, uh, you, um, is it like... We talk about this, yeah? Look, A, B, C. We can get A to the power of C equals B. Log 2. Log 2 X equals Y, right? So we can write this as 2 to the power of Y equals X, right? 2 to the power of Y equals X. So we can say Y equals log 2 X. Am I right? Yeah, makes sense? Yeah. Okay, so to sum up, what have you learned today? Um, binary. What? Come on, not just a simple word. Tell me, what's the problem? What are we trying to solve here? What have you learned? What's the approach? Uh, try to say three to four sentences. Okay, that's a good exercise to you, okay? So can, can you say, what's the problem? And what are we trying to solve here? What's the problem and how are we solving it? And that's it, go. So we um, have these numbers and uh, and so we wanna so we want like the number like the binary numbers and yeah we binary is concatenation of binary numbers mm -hmm. and then we want to convert it back to integer right mm -hmm. we won't get this number right so, yeah yeah so we just figure out the convert the numbers to binary and then we can see like um how many like like uh spaces we move forward mm -hmm. i think uh and we minus two because we don't need the bo stuff zero b o b o okay and yeah so we convert it to binary here because we want to find out how many length, the length of the next integer in binary format and because we need to move this answer to position or three position, B position to the left and plus I, we just put this number, to, you know, on the right. Am I right? Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Nice. Hello. Hello, Mr. Ryan. Are you right? Okay, so we talk about binary in the past, right? Binary. Mm. Binary numbers. Yeah. In computers, computers understand binary. Zero and one. Zero, one is two. There are two states. Why are there two states? The computers because binary are, needs two. Yeah, the computer, the binary is uh, very friendly to computers. Why? Because the... Because the power? Yeah, something to do with the power, because there are two states, you know the power, we plug it in, on and off, and the power, we can design a circuit to represent the 0 and 1, using yeah. the high voltage or low voltage, right? So 0, 1 binaries, everything in computers is uh, in binary. Let's look at the first few numbers, yeah? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay? Let's look at these. 17 numbers. So in binary, I write a few. Can you write the next? Okay, so this is the decimal. And we want to convert it to binary. 0, 1, what obviously. Decimal? Decimal, like the numbers we're using today. The number system we're using today. 0 to 9, there are 10 numbers, 10 digits. So look, 0, 1, 2, to 9, right? So when you plus 1 to 9, it carries over to 1, 0. Right? And then continue to 99. When you plus 1 here, it becomes 100, right? Because 9 carry over to 0. Carry 1 here. To 0. 1, yeah? Got it? So what's 2 in binary? Sorry? 1, 0. 1, 0, okay? 3. 1, 1. 4. Um, 1, one zero, 0. Yes, 5. Um, you plus 1 here, so what happened? 1, 0, 1. Okay, next. Um, one, 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 zero. Yes, well done. Keep going. One, one, one. Yes. Um. So we are running out of the digit here. So plus one here. One, one zero, zero, zero. Well done. And then? One, zero, zero, one. Yes. Um, one, one, zero, one, zero. Yes. Um, one, zero, one, one. Well done. Wow, you're on fire today. Um, one, one, zero, zero? Yes. One, one, zero, one. Where down? Um, one. What? One. <laughs>
Yes. One, 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 one. Okay. One, zero, 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 zero. Well done. Look, this one. Two, four, eight, sixteen. Can you notice uh, something in common about these two, four, eight, six? What have, what's... They all add just one, a zero. One followed by some zero, right? One followed by zero, yeah? Followed by one zero, that's two to the power one. Followed by two zero, two to the power two, all right? Look, how do we convert this in binary? This, um, this is one, this is two, this is four, this is eight, this is 16. So it's 16 plus eight plus one. Well done, got it, perfect, yes. You told us before, yeah. and it's 25. Right? Yeah, this is 25. Okay, so look, if it's a uh, power of 2, then all the rest will be 0, right? Yeah, so look, this is uh, each each digit, yeah, on its own, is power of 2. Oh, so that's oh. the way we check if the number is power of 2, okay? So we're given the integer n. So for example, n equals 3, so we put the number, the integer number here. 1, 2, 3, okay? What's 1 in uh, binary? 1. What's 2 in binary? 1, 0. What's 3 in binary? 1, 1. Well done. Okay. Now we put this together. So it becomes one one zero one one. So what's the index symbol? One, two, eight, sixteen. Okay, so we plus this together, which is the twenty-seven. Right? Mm -hmm. How do we solve this problem? Any idea? Right. Um we use what's the problem anyway? Look we first of all this is the digit. We convert to binary. We put the binary together, concatenation of a binary a string, and we convert back to the decimal from the binary. Yeah. If there's another more, which is four, if we have another digit four, which is one zero zero. One zero zero, right? Even numbers always end with zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know we convert this to decimal, okay? Yeah? How would you do it? Any idea? Go backwards and count one, two, I mean, you can ask computer to do the exact step, right? All right? That's both of us, yeah? We can ask the computer just to do exactly the same thing. First of all, we convert the uh, numbers to binary. Yeah. I will put it together and we just convert it uh, to decimal. Look, each step is known and we can do it, right? Uh -huh. But it's n, right? We know this n. So first of all, we want to get the numbers 1, 2, 3. First of all, we, know, we want to convert it to binary, which is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, right? So we use the function called bin, yeah? We talk about the uh, algorithm, right? How do we get a uh, binary from the decimal? We know how to convert to, from binary to decimal and from decimal to binary, right? One easy way, look. How do we convert uh, 7 to binary? 7 divided by 2, 3 remain 1. 3 divided by 2, 1 remain 1. 1 divided by 2, 0 remain 1. Once it's 0, we go this backward, so it's 1, 1, 1. Make sense? Mm -hmm. The pin function, pin 3 equals 0, p 1, 1. Okay? So the string, the binary string, you prefix with 0p, bearing this in mind, okay? For example, pin A, you will give us 0p1000, okay? This function, pin, pin stands for binary, not a trash pin, okay? Rubbish! So we, we use this pin function, so array equals pin i for i in range 1 to n plus 1, inclusive, 1 to n, okay, basically. But look at this pin, as I said, there's a prefix there. We don't want this, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want this 0p, so we can just cut it from the third position to the n. 2 to the n, right? Then, we have this array, right? We have this array, then we want to put it together. So look, we have this. We have this. How do we put these things together? We use a function. We want to join it, right? So we can just join it. Join by empty space. Join array. And once we have this string, we want to convert it back to integer. In the function, convert it back to integer. 
base 2 This second parameter 2 means that first parameter is a number in base 2 which is binary okay? So we can even do this in one line right? Return int empty string join this whole thing to and the time complexity we as we need to iterate over the n integers right so let's o n for each number we call this bin function so that's going to take o log n times so o n times log n but we can do better look i have one now now the next number is two right i know it's one zero in binary so what happened to this one? Next integer come is one zero. What happened to this one? What happened? Um, what happened? It was originally on this place, but it now moved to this place. It moves two space to the left. Right? Yeah? So another integer, one one, comes. One one comes. What happened to current in numbers? It was like that. Now I squeeze two numbers in. So what happened to this? Look at this way. Now one. I put a zero at the end. One. One zero, what's this? Two. One zero zero, what's this? Four. This number one, I put a zero at the end. What happened to this value? One to one zero, what happened to the value? Put another zero at the end. What happened to the value? I have put another one zero at the end. What happened? It, it doubles the number. It doubles the number. That's the thing. One. What happened if I put a zero at the end? What, what happened to the value? It doubles. It doubles. That becomes 2. If I put another one, it becomes 4, right? Mm -hmm. It works for any integer. For example, this is 110. One What's this value? It's 4 plus 2. It's 6, right? Mm -hmm. Four plus, I put a 0 here at the end. What's the value? It's 12. 12, right? And then 24. Exactly, right? And it works the other way around. If I take a 0, it, the value divided by 2, mm -hmm. right? Any value, right? Any value. I put a 0 at the end. Each value shift one position to the left it means that it the number it represents the value represent on that single digit times two right times two so the whole value times two okay so now coming back to this one one zero the next number is one one the one one is two digit so the existing values shift two position to the left the value doubles twice right mm -hmm. Now we can do it this way, look. I, okay, now current value is 1, right? Now comes another 1, 0, okay? So now current value needs to shift to position to the left, right? Shift to position to the left, and plus this value. Now it's 1, 1, 0. Now comes 11, I put 2 digits at the end. It means that the current existing value, the current value moved to position to the left, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Answer equals zero for i in range star with one to n right to n plus one not including n plus one is n okay now the current with a digit is let's say x equals the bin function right bin function i convert the i to bin but we want to get the length right we want to get the length mm. length of it we need to subtract two answer Shifter, shifter equals x. We move, we shift the x position to the left and then answer plus equal i. Return answer. Got it? You see? Two step. Now I'm one, right? The next number comes is one zero, right? So first of all, what do I do with this one? x equals two, right? x equals two. One zero, the length is two digits. I put the two zero at the one, right? And then I add the one zero. At the end, so it's become one one zero. Simple. That's two step. That's it. The time complexity. Look, we need to iterate n digit, n numbers. For each one, we still using the bin function. So it's o n log n as well, right? So it's not improving. It's not improving. But we can actually do it better. Why is that? Look, just observe this pattern. Okay, what happened to the length? One, one zero, one one, one zero zero, one zero one, one one zero, one one one, one zero zero zero. And then I write it one 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 zero 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 zero. Look at the length. One digit, two digit, two digit, three digit, three digit, three digit, three digit, four digit, four digit, five digit. So do you see the pattern? When will the length, the the number of digit increase? One two four eight sixteen. 
Yes, okay, so look, you see? 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and then here is uh, 4 to 5. So in what cases, what number we can increase the number of digits? What happened here? 1 to 2, 1, 0, we increase one digit. 2 to 3, we increase one digit. 3 to 4, we increase one digit. So you see the pattern here? What's the pattern? So look, what, what? The top number increases um, a digit by one, the bottom number increases a digit by zero. Okay, so... One increases and one has an, ha, adds a number zero. Okay, so look this number two. Look, two. What's this? Four. What's this? Eight. What's this? Sixteen. So we can increase when the number is two, four, eight, sixteen. So what's this number? 2, 4, 8, 16. What, what are those numbers? What's power of 2, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. power of 2. So we can increase by power of 2. 1 followed by a lot of zeros, right? N zeros. 2 to the power of n. This number, binary, is 2 to the power of n. We don't need to calculate the length every time. x equals 0. Right? At the beginning, then we check. If i is power of 2, yeah? If i is power of 2, then we x plus equals so we increment the length. If x is power of two, then we increment the length. So how do we check if a number is power of two, right? How do we check if the number is power of two? How do we know sixteen is power of two, but seventeen is not power of two? There are a couple of ways. You go to the beginning number uh, zero. You you go to the beginning number zero. You well you add one and then you do and then you double it and and. If you pass it, um, so we can double it. Yeah, we can. You can keep times in it. Where down? So or, one, or two, the opposite, four. Or hey. the opposite way, divide in it. Where down two ways? Yeah, you can do this times uh, multiply until it's equal or bigger than it, right? Or you can divide it. If it until it's one, or it can't be divided, or it's an odd number, am right? This is the power of two, right? Look at these numbers. They are power of two. Do you notice the, the, the pattern? The power of 2 in binary 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so do you not notice the pattern? If a number is power of 2 in binary, it follows by this pattern, am I right? Mm -hmm. So if it's a power of 2, single 1, followed by lots of 0, am I right? So what happens if we subtract 1 from this number? It will be the, 1 digit left. One digit left, and this digit gone, and what's next? What's this number? One. One, what's this number? One. one, 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 one. Lots of one, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. If we do an N, remember the N, two things need to be true. One and one is one, all others are zero. If we do an N operation on these, then you become zero. So that's a quick way to check if an integer is a power of two. So we can do this. If integer is i, then we can say if i is bigger than zero, obviously, it can't be zero, right? i bigger than zero and i and i minus one needs to be zero right look but here look i is from one so we can get rid of this so we can just say if i and i minus one the n operation is zero then we increment the length two numbers doing this n operation the bit operation and yeah? or exclusive or you know those kind of thing is all one constant so this time complexity is just O N. A loop with N iterations and everything inside is constant time. There are a couple ways, as you said, we can check the numbers uh, if, uh, if, to see if it's a power of 2 by multiplying or dividing. We can do this another way. We can check the log function. We can do this math.log i2, right? And this is return a number by we just have to check if it's a whole integer, right? It's a whole integer. That's also okay. Remember, if it's a power of 2, then we can say log 2 to the power of... Uh, what's log function? Log to n equals y. Look, what's this? Log. We talk about log function, right? It's 2 to the power of y equals n, right? And we can write it in log function. Look, log function of a, this is equal to 3. 2 to the power of 3 equals a. Right? This is a number that 
is not a power of 2, then this number is not a whole integer. Right? So in other way, we can get this number, for example, and convert it to an integer, int. And then we check backwards, so 2 to the power of uh, this integer, if it's equal to i, then it's a power of 2. Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye.